Earlier this month, we took a sneak peek at the new exciting features that are coming with Cartoon Animator 5. Now that the animation software is already out of beta and available for users, let's take a look at this latest version and take a deep dive into what it offers and why you should care to upgrade or not. Cartoon Animator from Reillusion, the developers behind iClone and Character Creator, and the sponsor of today's video, is a fully fleshed professional 2D animation software designed to help you create professional animations with the least amount of headaches. It caters to both beginners and professionals alike. It allows you, for instance, to turn any static images into animated characters, also drives facial expressions with facial mocap animation, and it gives you the ability to generate lip syncing animations from the audio automatically. Additionally, it has many features like 360 head creation, smart bones, animation editing, 3D to 2D animations, and much more. Alright, now we're gonna talk about some of the many features that Cartoon Animator 5 is offering in the new release. Talking about the interface, when you first launch the Cartoon Animator software, you should see something like this. It should feel fairly familiar if you used one of the previous versions. The main viewport contains a blue outliner that corresponds to your final render output dimensions. The toolbar on the top and on the left contains some general functions. On the right side, you should see your content manager, where you can manage, download, and organize your assets similar to iClone. Arguably one of the most exciting features in this release is the Spring Dynamics for follow-through movements. It is a huge time saver that any animator can use. If you try to animate any piece of cloth in the wind or a character swimming up or down through a river, you know it is really hard to get that flapping animation right, and doing it manually is even more challenging. You're gonna do a lot of guesswork and look up a lot of references, not to mention that it often looks jaggedy and unrealistic. Well, Cartoon Animator on the other hand got you covered with the new Spring Dynamics which uses real physics. You can just animate the head or the first bone in the chain, and the software will automatically calculate the follow-up motion with a lot of controls and precision to tweak the effect exactly as you want. The next feature we're gonna look at is FFD which stands for Freeform Deformation. This one is great because it helps to exaggerate the movement, thus making it a lot more readable. And overall, it adds life and character to seemingly simple movements. Another use of FFD is also adding different behaviors to characters and images. Cartoon Animator 5 comes already with a library of well-curated presets at your disposal to apply different actions and behaviors automatically or you can use the grid to animate it manually and create exactly the animation that you want. Squash and stretch are one of the most important principles of animation, and this tool really allows you to achieve that exaggeration level of animation. You can apply the FFD on top of your already existing animations, and the great thing is you can stack them on top of each other, which is really powerful. Another exciting feature in this version is also vector support. Cartoon Animator 5 now supports vector graphics, which is a huge step forward. You can now easily import SVG vector assets and enjoy the level of detail and customizability. I mean, what you can do with vector graphics. It is compatible with any vector software such as Illustrator, in addition to CorelDRAW, Affinity Designer, Inkscape, and others. This allows you to create massively scalable scenes where you can zoom in and out without compromising or worrying about the quality. Because, as we mentioned before, unlike raster pixel based images, vector graphics look great whether they are zoomed in or zoomed out with minimal memory demand. You could also adjust the viewport quality for a smoother workflow, but the rendered result will always be at maximum resolution. Another great use of vector graphics is the ability to easily change colors and swipe shapes quickly. For instance, you might have a character and you need to change for example the color of the skin or the color of the shirt, or any piece of clothing. With vector graphics, you can do that easily with the push of a button. You can also hide anything by setting up the opacity to zero, and overall this just gives you more control. This version also introduced minor but really helpful features, like the ability to stretch bones similar to the FFD, which gives you the ability to add more expressions to your animations. There is also keep bent direction, which prevents bones from rotating in the wrong direction. For example, preventing the arm from rotating more than 90 degrees in the opposite direction. Furthermore, this version added support for PSD files, and now you can integrate your Photoshop character and animate them directly inside Cartoon Animator. You can do this while retaining all the layer structures, 
which is a great option for both character and background and props creation. Of course there are a lot of new features that we didn't get to talk about, but if this sounds interesting and you want to check them out, I mean the new features of Cartoon Animator 5, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, Reillusion is having its holiday sales to save up to 45%, so if you want to get a copy of Cartoon Animator 5, this is the best time to do so. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.